Hello everyone. Um, once again, um, I've been uh, trawling the likes of AliExpress and I saw this uh, resin figure of this uh, mysterious uh, woman uh, with um, shields and crows and skulls and lights. And I thought, yeah, um, I'm going to get this one because it's, it's really an amazing figure. When I actually did get the uh, figure, I I noticed initially that um, she had in her possession a Sutton Hoo um, Saxon um, helmet. So I was thinking, um, okay, this, this must have some sort of historical background. On the actual figure, um, it was very detailed and it had markings like this. So I thought to recreate the, um, the, the helmet the same way. When I did the uh, internet search and I typed in um, warrior, queen, um, vanquisher of, of Saxons, and uh, it came up with um, actually a, a, a name of Morrigan, um, the Celtic witch queen. And um, there's some sort of story behind it, but um, uh, yeah, I came up with some amazing pictures to draw from. When I first uh, got the kit, um, I was pretty impressed with the quality of the casting and the details. However, when I was putting the kit together, um, there were uh, very large gaps between the pieces. Uh, but even so, um, when the pieces came together, uh, these gaps were easily filled and uh, were actually placed in such a way that uh, you didn't really notice them. When I started painting her, I, I uh, airbrushed um, flesh onto her and then I uh, dry brushed some highlight flesh and um, yeah, it, it, it turned out well because uh, uh, the, the figures are very well sculpted. According to the uh, previous uh, paintings, um, I decided to uh, make this uh, Morrigan having black hair um, and giving her a gown that was regal yet earthy. So I painted the um, the inner inner part of it uh, a brown with um, you know highlights to represent maybe an an animal fur or skin, and the um, the drapes. I wanted to give it a, a vivid green and um, I, I think this particular colour combination suited. I bought a box from Kmart here in Australia uh, but what I did was actually um, I used the underside of it as a main base. I decided uh, later to use some lighting and electronics and that would have been a very good spot for me to hide things. Um, the top of the base had a bit of a lip which I also decided I want to bit of, put a bit of resin in there as murky water or, or a bog. Uh, the stone representation um, was done by initially painting uh, the base part uh, grey and then giving it um, a dry brushing of lighter grey and it really picked up the details um, again I really must commend the the sculptor of this figure and an amazing job I then um, painted the crow figure and often uh, when you have small animals like birds uh, in figures they're not really well done but uh, the the crows on on um, this, this figure were, were amazing and all I had to do is just paint them black with a bit of dry brushing and just pick out the eyes and they came alive. Also I did the helmet um, in, in silver and um, again the amount of detail on the helmet was also amazing. Then came the uh, rest of the figure. Um, I, I had the shield which I painted in, in copper and uh, the um, the jugs uh, in in um, brass, 
but I also painted the uh, the skulls in off white and had it just a touch of dark blood uh, in amongst in amongst it all. My initial um, uh, aim was to thread some um, fiber optics through the candles and have them flicker, um, but when I actually um, uh, tried that, I found that the uh, fiber optics that I had were uh, way too thick and uh, wouldn't be able to fit in, so I just left it at that at this point. What I did with the fiber optic is that I flattened an end with some heated pliers and what that does is when you uh, pass light through it the end would be re uh, reflected um, outwards and really gave uh, a realistic um, um, well basically candle flame. After I finished uh, with the main part of the model I decided you know I wanted to take a uh, a picture of it in a in an eerie, um, cold Irish bog or, or forest, and I tried a few variations. And um, the there was one that I really liked, and I actually use it as my screensaver. And I've got a great big A2 poster of it in my um, hallway as well. Initially what I wanted to do is I wanted to do my own etching of a plaque and I tried reverse printing and all of this but it didn't really work. Um, what I ended up doing was I got a, uh, a person who did keys to uh, make a plaque for me. Uh, it was quite expensive at $70 for just a small little plaque. I think in the future what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy myself a, a laser etcher to do uh, plaques in the future. What I then thought I'd do is actually uh, I found these long rubbery LED on, on the internet and I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a, a backlight of the uh, bog um, so that um, when you light it up it gives you an eerie sort of look. Um, and I bought some off the internet and um, the thing is you've got to get the the right size as well so that was a bit of a pain trying to get the just the right size to go around the um, the base I was also trying to do some live video as well I'm sorry the didn't put the camera in the right spot I'm sort of to the side um, Luckily, uh, being a physics teacher, I had some electronics as well, which I could use to add wires to the uh, flexible rubber LEDs. The uh, next step was to put in some muddy water. So I bought AK resin water. Um, now the big pain this was, was actually the bottle tops. They made it so bloody hard for me to open the top. It was just ridiculous. Um, you know, it, 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 you have to have like 10 fingers on one hand to try to open up those bottles. Uh, but in the end, it, it did work out well. Um, uh, it was two, part, um, two parts resin to one part hardener. However, um, I think in the end, I added just a little bit too much of the um, earth color and it wasn't as transparent. Uh, I had to put um, three layers because the first layer I found out that the uh, top of the um, base wasn't quite sealed and some of it leaked through um, and then the second layer I didn't fill up quite to the top so the third layer I put a, a clear coat right on top and now all the layer was even. Oh, 
Well, at least my dog, uh, Rock, likes the model. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please subscribe, put a like, and uh, please uh, have a look at all my other videos. Enjoy!